So uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something very different. We are doing a kind of moto slash vlog uh, slash adventure. So just got a new GoPro, just got a new mic kit. Um, so hopefully you guys can hear me right now and it sounds good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you on a journey, show you guys where I ride, show you some of the tracks that I hit up. Um, are the ones we've made, um, but yeah, so we're gonna try to get into that today. It's a short video, the bike's still kind of warming up, so we're just letting her tip along. And uh, pro tip here for guys who are wood riding if it's not too big, always maybe like roll up the woods just once, double check that obviously there's nobody up here. You don't want to come around a corner and hit somebody, plus, you know trying to keep it safe for everybody and they don't mind us we don't mind them so that's the best thing you can do so i'm just going to cruise along have a look she's getting warmed up she's getting warmed up uh, but yeah so towards the halfway point of this forest slash trail we have a pit bike track that is actually over across all this stuff right here um, quite a bit of fires away and there's kind of bog in between so that's a bit difficult to get to but we usually hit that up on the pit bikes we lift it over all that bog the big bikes are good as well because the wheels are so big um, but yeah so we're gonna head all the way down to the very end we have another track that's far on to the left hand side but today we're just gonna do like a loop of the woods show you guys what I have up here the riding spots I want to show you the new gear I have show you the new uh, graphics I put on my bike that look mint and uh, yeah just kind of show you guys what I do when I'm not doing build videos so let's get into this a little bit oh yeah she's nice so just take it nice and handy to make sure nobody's up here but yeah she's she's ready uh, by the way as you probably know YZ Yamaha YZ 252 stroke plenty of power she's pretty mean couldn't tell you the last time it's been rebuilt um, but it definitely does not need to be rebuilt she's just on the pipe so yeah we're gonna come up here you come around this corner there's usually a bit of water here but it's been quite dry so let's have a little peek here we are so yeah there's not much water here at the moment usually there's a little bit more legs up we've got two corners here that we slip into whoa nice little drop out and then this is kind of this is a tight one you better be careful make sure nobody's around this corner and yeah so now we are brought on to what we call the straight this is where we do our top speeds maybe not on this bike we'd probably be projected into space because it's pretty bumpy uh, but yeah let's get her warmed up nicely warmed up oh yeah switch sides you often see deer passing through here and some rabbits i've had a couple of coast calls Rabbits aren't an issue, just don't want to hit no deer. Oh yeah, drop through these puddles. Nice. Yeah, she's nicely warmed up now. We got a nice curve to the right hand side. This is where we would usually chill, sit up on those um, on those logs there, put the bikes up against them, have a beer or two, you know maybe come back down on the left hand side here this is a mini track we're gonna pop up there in a second just gonna bring you to a full loop Ooh, she's overgrown now wow got some movement down here anyway do we no never mind so yeah so this is kind of the end of the forestry but then we got loads of trails that flick back up into other places we've got a small track in here um it's it's kind of nice it's kind of more what i would call for a pit bike track but at the same time there's a couple of little like log jumps that are kind of a little bit too much for the for the pit bikes um the big bikes are just a little bit heavy for there so go through all this i'm going to show you on our right hand side there that other track bring you down we had carved this out originally and some very unfriendly folk decided they would cover um, our little we didn't make a track or anything just our little ways down there with logs so if we went down there we'd fall off um, which listen I understand you want to walk the woods but we're always very good about it um, we're always very nice we never go down there if there's people there so the fact that they want to put logs out to some, somewhat maybe cause injury which 
one of one of our bikes did fall over and a gearbox um, one of the gearboxes in the OKX um, that did pop out I don't know what happened the, the, the arm or something popped out because of it um, and of course you took a tumble too so not don't like that kind of stuff but let's bring you through let's see if they've if it's still normal so I got this little pop up um, there's a couple I went up here in the pit bikes last time we got a couple little in between trail stuff here bring us true you don't get much speed in here it's like the death race you come up on the left you can come up on the right then you come into some real tight spaces you got the double tree left and right come in here then you got the little pop over where we've cut up a big log so we can get over a couple of little ruts and we're straight through here down the middle oh watch that tree back up hit on the back brake slightly and then we're back through here kind of moves to the right hand side slightly pushing up against these small ruts then we're back to the left But yeah, it's quite good. Um, get some speed on. It's a bit wet at the moment, so we're sliding a bit, and my back tire isn't the best. I had to fill it with air. It was flat when I came out, so that might need a little look see. But a little turn here. And then we're back. Really good for pit bikes. Still good for the big bikes. 125 would be amazing. These 250s are just so big for this type of stuff. They really don't get what they need. Back into the left, sliding down. I have a ridiculously heavy clutch as well. So this type of riding is, is always tough on the hands. Our little pop, watch that tree back around. A lot of these trees on the right hand side have really big spikes on them as well, so we call them the trees of death. Gotta be careful with that one. Go down this little pop down. We're actually gonna slip down this side. There's another way back. Hit a couple of these ruts. Watch those big tree trunks, and uh, yeah, we're back. All right, we're back where we were. This is kind of where I said we used to we like to chill. Um, just out here today by myself, getting a ride and having out in ages. But yeah, I'm going to pop our, this bike up against this tree, make sure everything's recording for us, and uh, yeah, get back out there. Right, guys. So before we get back on the bike, I'm going to head back down the trail here. Now that we know the woods are kind of clear, we can kind of go a little bit faster, hit a few turns, that kind of stuff. That's kind of going to be the video for today, but. Before we go um, and, and hit that, what I want to say to you is I've just put a whole new decal kit on the bike and I have to say it looks mint. I've got graphics custom made, I've got the Alan sticker here, I've got the, the logos, I've got the numbers, the front of the bike's been all done. It needs a clean and then she's going to look so good, so good. Um, also, just while I have you guys here, I want to say something that I discovered decals on your tank see these bubbles I don't know if you guys can see them supposedly all tanks bubble when you put decals on them which I didn't know even though from the factory the stickers that were on it were fine because plastic is porous on these bikes um, supposedly it actually kind of seeps out or it you know comes out through the the actual tank itself and causes your graphics to bubble so just, uh, just a little tip there if you guys are going to do this maybe seal your tank first um, the guy is sending me out a fresh set of stickers for my tank so i'm going to try and seal it somehow or maybe use like i don't know the, the petrol probably melted from the inside of the tank but maybe use some sort of petrol repellent like sealant or something like that um, i do have some clear coat for what i would use for bicycles and our bikes and tanks and stuff like that which i would use on my kawasaki um, frame but yeah i just thought i'd mention that but yeah we got a whole new decal kit um custom made like i said we got brand new pro taper um 
hand grips which literally went on last night so they're lovely and clean and yeah she needs a good clean and she's gonna look really really mint um, on top of that obviously i got a new helmet and new gear so it's really nice to, to be all fresh again but let's jump back on let's try to jump back on the yammy let's get her out of gear you see now there we go one of the new pit bikes, well, one of the engines I got for the pit bike. Um, second hand, oh my god, it does not like to find neutral. So, I kind of miss the big bikes when it comes to just easing the sake in that sense, things just working right. Alright, so, she should be still kind of warm. It's not going to be a cold start. Here we go. Let's do it. And we're only in third gear. This virus just is an able for the power of a 250. Gotta love those two strokes. Woo. Okay. I'm gonna sit in third, I think. Going around these corners. A little bit of breakage. Got a track up there. Un undiscovered yet. Down here. And we're coming up to our water section. Oh, get the new gear wet. you guys obviously this is a new kind of thing I'm doing um, if you are liking these type of videos if you want more build videos it'd be great if you guys can leave a comment or leave a like on this video so I know you guys are enjoying it um, I have a plan to do an adventure video uh, myself and somebody else we're gonna go take our two bikes up into this woods go deep into the woods and what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna bring a hammock each sleep outside bring the bikes when we get lost let's drop the hammocks and uh, yeah bring a couple of beers let's have some fun uh, but yeah so if you want to see that let me know drop a comment and I suppose one of the main thing is if you like the video please hit that subscribe button you know it's great to know that you guys are watching you're enjoying the videos and you'll be able to see any future ones that come up so yeah, subscribe, like, comment, and I'm out.